Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys a couple of simple ways that you can add black bars to your video on the top and bottom for more of a cinematic feel for that shot. So probably the simplest way to do it, especially if you're only working on one video track, is to simply use cropping. So we can select our video clip on video track one, go up to the inspector in the top right, and then if you scroll down here a little bit, you're going to see this cropping section. So you need to crop top and crop bottom if you want to basically cut away part of this video and to leave a black empty space or a black bar in place of it. So let's make sure that the crop top and the crop bottom line up for however much we want it to be. So we can approximate it and then copy and paste the exact values to make sure that they're identical. So let's say we want the crop bottom at 150. I'm going to double click the same value, hit control C to copy it, go up to crop top, hit control V to paste it in. And that pretty much gives you what you need to have those black bars on top and bottom. Now, alternatively, you can also do it on the left and right sides. So if we take crop left and crop right and set that to 150 and 150 here, then you can easily add bars to those sides, but in a widescreen video like this, maybe we'd need a bigger number there. And anytime you want to reset these values, you can just hit this little loop with an arrow and go back to the default values. Now, in some cases, you may have a video project where you're working on multiple video timelines and then cropping one timeline like this let's say it's video track one, might not give you the same black bar look across your whole video. You might have something above it on video track two. So if you absolutely want to make sure that these black bars are covering everything else, then you can also create black bars as a clip on your video tracks as well. So let's go to the effects library and we can go down to generators here. We're going to look for solid color and I'm going to basically just drag this onto the timeline. But in a video track that's above all of our clips. So whatever is the highest video track is what's going to show on top. So if you wanted a title to show above your black bar generation, then you would make sure the titles on video track three and the solid colors on video track two. But if you want the black bar to take precedence over everything else, then just make sure that your black bar or solid color generator is on top. So how we go from a completely black screen to having a actual bar is that we would go over to the settings here and then either adjust the zoom size so you can do this one at a time and then we would adjust either the zoom size or cropping once again i would say doing cropping is a little easier because then you can just crop this until you get the size for this bar that you need and then just copy paste half a second bar and do exactly the same thing the other alternative is that you can uh, affect the zoom and I'm going to unlink that so we can do one value at a time. And as you can see, by lowering the X zoom, we can control the size of the bar. Then you just take the position and move this over here to the left to be on the position you need. Or if you want it to be a horizontal bar, then we can reset that position, reset the zoom, unlink it with this button here, and now lower the Y value, move this up to the top, and you're pretty much good to go. Maybe we need to lower the zoom a little bit more since it's still kind of big. And that's pretty much it. So to get a identical bar and move it down here to the bottom, we just need to control C on this clip. I'm going to go a little bit further in the timeline, control V to paste it in. Now let's move this to video track three. Uh, so we're getting a lot of video tracks, but we have two different objects and we want them to show at the same time in the video. So we do need an extra video track there. And then we just simply take this Y position and pull it down to the bottom until it's in the space for giving us our uh, black bars. And we can just continue to adjust the size a little bit until it's right. Offset the position. I would just make sure that the size on your two black bars is equal to each other. That'll look best in most cases. Okay, now let's go ahead and preview this in full screen. So control F to do that. And, we, and now we can see that the video clip has our black bars on the top and bottom. A couple other things to note, if you want this black bar to be for the entire duration of the clip, since we're not cropping, we need to expand the duration of the solid color generator. So I'm gonna hit A to go to selection mode, click on the edge here, drag this to the duration of the full clip and do the same thing with the other one. And now the black bars will exist there for the whole clip. Also, because we are basically hiding part of the clip with those black bars, we can also adjust the position of the underlying clip. So if you look through 
your final clip after the black bars are added and you don't quite like how the underlying clip looks, we can adjust that bottom clip. So one option we can do with the bottom clip is to adjust the position. So if I take the white position, I can move that X or down and we can focus on whatever part of the base video clip that uh, we wanted to look at. Um, since we are hiding part of the base video clip, we have the liberty of doing this since not everything is now showing on the screen at the same time. So this idea might not look particularly great in the end, but you could also try unlinking your X and Y zoom on the bottom clip. And then if you want to fit more of the original image inside of here, then you can shrink your Y zoom and that'll start bringing back the areas that are on bottom hidden underneath that black bar and on top. But obviously, as you can see, the more you do this, the more stretched your image is going to look. So the feeling of having the black bars on top and bottom is going to look best when you don't need to worry about the zoom because you kind of plan it out just to have this middle section actually showing stuff. But in the case of a scenic shot like this, it might be hard to fit everything you actually want to show into that shot. But in any case, that's pretty much going to be it for how you can add black bars to the top and bottom of your clips, either with cropping or with a color generator if you need to ensure those black bars cover other layers of your video timeline. So that's going to be it for this video. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see all of you in my future video content.